everyone, Hannah Lynn here. I just got my new Wacom Cintiq tablet in the mail yesterday and I am getting ready to do a little bit of work so I thought that I would do a short tutorial and kind of review on the tablet um, so you guys could check it out and see how awesome it is. So I am currently working on a coloring page uh, for Angie and Oliver. And this piece was painted originally in watercolor pencil and ink, and then I scanned it. And so it's now in my Photoshop CC program. It is mirrored with the screen that I am working on here in my, my Mac. And so these are actually connected to each other, which means the mouse that I have here controls both screens at the same time. It's a remote control kind of situation here, so I can open files and save files and it will also be doing it here. And then when I bring my pen into the screen, I've got a couple different buttons here that are programmable to whatever function you like. I have a right click uh, function on the top one here. And so if I get close to the screen, it will recognize it as my mouse. So I can actually go up here and like file, new, open, um, and it will function just like the mouse and it will replicate on the screen at the same time. So if I have file, new, open, you can see it's also pulling up over there. Okay, so if I'm going to work on this, I wanted to show you kind of how it's done. I have a couple different layers over here and I'm sorry I'm filming a screen so it's not going to be very cooperative but I will do my best. I have a background, a background copy, um, another layer for some color adjustments we were doing and then the top layer is the black for the coloring page. Now most of it is already kind of outlined but I also have to outline some of the areas that were painted in color that weren't already outlined. So for example the spots on the turtle, um, her eyelashes are, her fin eyelashes are outlined in blue, um, those types of things. So I just kind of wanted to do something short. I didn't want to do something, you know, really super in depth, but I wanted to show you how the tablet worked and how it will help me in my editing process for my coloring books. Um, I wanted to show you the touch feature, which is really, really awesome. It works um, best in Photoshop CC, which is what I'm working in right now. I'm sure it works great in Illustrator and stuff as well, but all I have to do is just take two fingers and zoom like you would on your phone or tablet, zoom out, and I can also pan over. So when I'm in like that, I can move around. Okay, so you can see I'm kind of working on these little spots um, for the turtle and I can actually also uh, rotate. So if this is not a comfortable drawing angle for me, like if I were to do these uh, scales here, for example, I would wanna turn it. See the little compass shows up and then it allows me to, to turn it to a more comfortable angle. Okay, so I'm using about, let's see, a 10 point. I want to increase that. I actually set this for a right click and I'm on the paintbrush. So I'm going to get close and then right click and I'm going to increase the pixel size a little bit. I'm going to go to about a 21. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I'm on the proper layer, which I'm on the top layer. <clears throat> and this layer is actually independent. So I can take it, I'm going to change over to the move tool and show you that I can pull this black layer away. And so it will become a coloring page once I move it over onto a white background. Okay, so if we go back to the brush tool, I can start just tracing. So I can trace whatever I like here. And the harder I push, the thicker the line will be. And so I can do it with the same pixel here, I can do it really lightly and it will give me a little bit thinner of a line. Now for those who are like me who like to rest their hand on the screen, 
Um, I'm actually wearing a sweatshirt that kind of helps it from picking me up, but if I do touch the screen with my hand, it will generally recognize it. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I would like to pick up a glove to keep it from recognizing, but for right now, the sweatshirt seems to work just fine. And so I can just keep tracing like that. I don't really like that, so I'm gonna hit my undo button over here. Or I can always undo up here as well by going back uh, steps. So that is about it for my tutorial and introduction to my um, Wacom Cintiq tablet, pen and touch display. Thanks so much for watching.